Do you do this when you paint? No, I don't. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. We got Levi as a Christmas gift from my dad right after my mom passed away. And then we asked him to move into this tiny home. Living in California is very expensive, but having your family minutes away is priceless. So I wanted to give my dad a dog-friendly makeover in his bedroom, in some of his favorite colors, and something that would remind him of my mom, who loved the beach. Of course, we went to the thrift store and we found some really cool items to DIY. Everybody pitched in, Bobby donated some of his favorite seashells. Stay tuned to see how my dad's bedroom makeover turned out. Grandpa's little house is so adorable and we've really brought his personality here, but now it's time for the details. I want to bring in some color. I'm thinking of even painting the door, apothecary, or fire starter. We want to paint the back wall a color, give him some new bedding, and maybe some lighting over here. I like to have a lamp beside my bed. I have an idea that I think will be really fun. We are going to give you a makeover for this room. A you, facelift. Yeah, a facelift. A glow, a glow up. Yeah. <laughs> so you already have a lot of really cool. I love your headboard and the lights. And I love the ship. The I love the locker. locker. So I was going for your beachy kind of nautical vibe because you were in the Navy and you've got this little beach cottage. But then I got busy and we never really followed through with it. And it, it has kind of a cold prison look. It is cozy. No, it looks like a prison. Well, you designed it. I got to get a new company. Yeah. And we might do a wall treatment. Wall treatment? Yeah. I was thinking that we could warm it up by putting beadboard on your wall. You don't look like you like that idea. Well, no, because it's all going to be covered up by all this stuff. And it's expensive. And, and it's like $40 a sheet. I did not think that $40 was very much. It's a tiny little bedroom and it's just one wall. I have sent my dad to Home Depot to purchase things for me that I'm paying for. And he will come back and say, I didn't get that for you because it cost too much money. <laughs> Dad, what? No, I'm buying it. So last week we went out shopping for things I knew my dad would never purchase for himself. I had been keeping my eye on this lamp, hoping that it would go on sale. It was $35 and I knew it would be perfect for my dad's bedroom. I wanted to decoupage the lampshade with some of our beautiful decoupage papers that we sell. They are only $6.95 a sheet and we have lots of videos showing you other projects that we have done with the decoupage paper, including this beautiful dress form. The skirt is made out of paper and so is the giant butterfly. It's really easy to use and you get beautiful results. I started with a sheet of this nautical decoupage paper and I wanted to separate the different panels. Instead of cutting it with scissors, I used a little dish of water and a paintbrush to give it a ripped look. That is a lot more organic looking so that your decoupage paper doesn't end up looking like a sticker on your surface. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your Liquid Patina is a matte top coat, but it is also the best decoupage medium that I have ever tried. You want to apply it slowly so that you don't get any air bubbles with your paper and the surface. After the decoupage paper dries completely, a lot of your wrinkles are going to flatten out. I think we've decided that we're gonna paint your back wall fire starter. I'm gonna have you get started on that. And I've got a bunch of other projects that I have planned for this room that I'm gonna start working on with Ellie. So I brought you the fire starter. We need you to just start prepping and getting everything off the wall. Just gonna be this one wall right here, not the whole room. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> Levi's excited! It's really thick and it's really concentrated. So you wanna use the water bottle to get it to move. Put the paint on the wall and spray it. It will go a lot further. This is plenty of paint, but some people just paint it on way too thick and then it gets real textured looking. This is enough to paint your wall. We'll be back to check on you. What are you doing, Dad? What you take. <laughs> 
Do you do this when you paint? No, I don't. I just, I'm really careful. I don't like doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it's up to you if you want to do it or not. I just get a tiny brush and I tell myself I don't care if it's not. Okay, are you helping? Are you helping? So I spent a couple hours on this and I'm putting the final touches on it. This is for all of you people who leave me comments saying, you're so talented. <laughs> I wish I had your talent. Let's see if you see what I did wrong. Here is the inside of the shade. So, see it? I was able to easily peel off the first panel without ripping it and gently set it aside. I don't know if the rest of these are gonna come off that easy. Hopefully, then that would be a fairly easy do-over so I can put them on the right way. The liquid patina has not dried yet, so it looks like it's not as tragic as I thought. But what do you know? It's coming off. That is a miracle that I did not expect. So, yep, I dodged a bullet on that one. I'm gonna start over and see if those panels will go back on. I'm not gonna show you that part because that would be torture. Let's see how Grandpa's doing. Oh. <gasps> Hi, Dad. Yeah. That's gonna look good. What are you doing? Really? Oh, my God. There's no one like you, my little girl. So blue under those brown. While my dad was painting his wall, my sister and Ellie were getting ready to sell her beloved Sprinter van. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you whining? Oh, hi, baby. Gucci. You're pretty. Hi, baby. Hi. All right. Let's go in twice. Sold to the luckiest buyer in the world. <laughs> she so. is available and ready to be taken. She has a lot of great memories, doesn't she? Remember yes, she does. Oh, yeah. Lots of Yahtzee and Uno. <laughs> so tell us about it. Well, it was definitely a labor of love. The design was a lot of inspiration on YouTube and a lot of grandpa's expertise and just built it very very custom to the needs that I had I wanted a lot of flexibility so that I could camp go have beach days take the dogs to the beach but also drive it around it's my only car so I didn't want it to be so fixed as a camper when I'd go stand up paddle boarding I would put my blow up paddle here with all my gear and some bins underneath the bed and I had a day at the beach. Underneath and this countertop is storage for utensils and for my propane. This can be taken out but it's nicely secured while you're driving. You can take that out and uh, I'm not a camping kind of girl, but my sister is. She did a lot of DIY to it. My sister already has a couple offers on this van, but in case it falls through, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. I got these curtains for my dad, $30 for the pair, and we are going to give them a seashell treatment. I wanted to give you a view of how I do this. Got a chip clip right there and I've got this part of the curtain tucked into the fridge. It's because when you go to put the hot glue on the curtain, it's always more aesthetic if you find curtains that are sheer. So these have a sheer quality to them, but that means also that the glue will seep through the fabric and stick to the surface if you lay it down flat. So I have to kind of clip the curtains or stretch them in between two chairs so the fabric isn't touching anything and then 
by the time I get this section done, I'll, I'll move it and clip it again, and you just kind of repeat the process. You can hand wash these curtains, and the hot glue will actually hold up. My mom and I used to make dozens of them. We sold them in my shop. Our customers love them. They are super easy to do. We made them over and over again until I got sick of it, but I wanted to make some for my dad because I knew it would remind him of my mom. Well, I was over at mom's helping her take some videos of the van. I checked in on grandpa's room and he put everything back into place. And so far it's looking great. I think the orange color really just helps bring together the room. So stay tuned till the end to see how the final result looks. It looks great. I know. You like it? I like it. Matches my shirt. It matches the orange. It is raining in California, but my car is so filthy that I'm getting a car wash anyway. It's a $7 drive through I wish I could put my house through a $7 cleaning. from Oh, Tavarua. I remember when we went there. <gasps> that These are perfect because I wanted more manly shells. Hey, Bobby. Where'd you get all those shells? Travels. <laughs> Bali, Fiji. Yeah. Remember the sea turtles? I was talking about that last Sunday. Mm -hmm. That was very exciting. Okay, here's what I picked to go inside the lamp. Some little ones too. But I think my dad will like these because these are very, they're not girly. I think Jenny, you think they're manly shells for my dad? These are, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no, some no. are very feminine. Yes. Those aren't. There are, there are no, no manly shells. Shells have gender. We take down that shell, and then we're gonna have you leave because we're gonna do our magic, and then we're gonna come back and see what you think. So we're gonna strip your bed, and I need you to do a load of laundry because I just washed everything. <laughs> well, Levi's hair is flying like a storm in here. <laughs> <laughs> look how dirty they look. The, hey, we, I just changed everything. Okay. <laughs> Here she comes. Ellie and Danielle pitched in so I could hang the curtains and put the final touches on my dad's bedroom. Bobby gave us some seashells that he has collected himself on surf trips to Fiji. And he also gave us some buoys that he collects near his house in California. One of my dad's favorite things about his house is the way the sun comes through his bedroom window. He didn't have a lamp for his nightstand, but now he has one that everybody contributed to. What are you painting? That looks good. What do you think? I like it. What's the pot made out of? Play. So are you using water to water the paint down? <laughs> are, Everybody are you, uh, said paint it orange. But you're supposed to water the paint down. I, I am. You are? I mean, I, you know. Where's the water bottle? I had... <laughs> <laughs> you're guilty. <laughs> you're doing it the lazy way. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Ready? Walk in with your eyes closed. Don't open them. Open them! <laughs> wow! Oh, I love that picture! Isn't that cool? Oh, and that, that looks, it matches! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at your new land shells in Fiji, and he donated the shells, and then I put this on here. As you're falling asleep, this is on a dimmer switch. You can read your Bible and have a, a light right there. Does it feel cozy now? You got new bedding, new pillows. The pillows are from Bobby. Bobby got the buoys. He actually found those on the beach. There's some more over there. And then your Jesus fish that you used to make, we put that right up above your bed. I have such good memories of you making all of those Jesus fish when we were little. I don't remember who I made them for. You gave them as gifts to everybody at Christmas one year and I watched you burn the wood and cut them out. <laughs> you love it, Grandpa? Yeah, I love it. I love you, Madeline. 
Next week, we have a really special video. We hope you will join us. We are all going to go live together and we will answer your questions. So leave your questions in the comments so we can answer them then. Hope to see you there. find all the products used in this video, to find DIY paint in your area, or to sell it in your store, click the link below. Every breath was a gift, felt like I was living in a dream. From the moment that I felt your kiss, there was something that served me like crazy. <laughs> It's Sunday. Everybody's yawning because we just ate. Dad, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? My